Hey everybody, nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Okay, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at um, these. Okay, this is the new Inikin Pocket Box. Uh, it's just come on the market. Uh, I got the one in the black and the one in the white. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down, as usual, down onto the build cam. And we're going to take a look and see what uh, what's in the package and what this thing looks like. And then I'm going to come back up here and uh, give you my thoughts on it. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, there is a giveaway on this one. Okay. So watch all the way through this thing because there's going to be a pop-up coming up. Okay. And... The link to the registration page is going to be down in the description box down below. Okay. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need to have that uh, code. Okay. So you never know when it's going to pop up in here. I'm a sneaky son of a gun. Okay. So you got to watch the whole thing all the way through. Yeah. Now at the end of the video, all right, just before... Uh, well, sometime during the face cam section, toward the end of it, I'll be having, I'll be posting uh, some stills of the uh, rules. Please be sure to read those rules completely, okay? Uh, if you don't follow those rules, your, reg your entry will be deleted, all right? And I'm not kidding about it, all right? So... Without any further ado, uh, let's head on down to the build deck and uh, take a look at this thing and see what we got, okay? Meet you down below, decks. Okay, here we are down on the build deck, and we're going to be taking a look at this today, the Inakin Pocket Box. Now, Inakin was nice enough to send me, for the purposes of this review, uh, two of these little babies, okay? One in black and one in white. Uh, there's also a third color that this comes in, which is a blue. Uh, more like a navy blue than a, uh, like, electric blue or anything like that. But it is a third color, and what I got here is these two. So, what we're going to do is, um, the white one here is going to be going up for a giveaway. The black one is mine don't get no ideas about it okay but what i'm going to be doing is today while i'm when we're taking a look at this thing i'm going to be using both of these now the pock the white one has never been used uh has never had e-liquid or anything like that touched uh to it or anything like that so that's why this one's going up for uh going up for the giveaway but we like i said i'm going to be shoot using both of these two as exemplars today so okay I'm just going to take this away for now, and we're going to concentrate on this. Now, this over here is the uh, the coils, the extra pack of coils that they sent me. I'm going to get more into this in a few minutes, and so I'm just going to move that off to one side for now. So, let's take a look and see what we get in the box here, okay? Uh, this is the box that you're going to get it in. Now, of course, if this is over in... TPD land, um, there's going to have this nice big white sticker on here saying that this thing contains nicotine, which is the biggest bunch of crap going, since if your juice, if your box comes full of nicotine, I'd send it back because obviously it's been used. On this side, nothing. This side, Inakin. This side, pocket box. This side, Inakin. And on the back here, you see what we get. Um... Yeah, you got the uh, usual scratch and check code, uh, little UPC code, uh, the usual stuff. You know, this one here is for sale in the U.S. And as such, it has this little sticker on here, sale only allowed in the U.S. But I do understand that this should be available over in TPD land as this little mod comes with a maximum of two, count them, two milliliters for the tank more about that in a few minutes okay let's just open this up and take a look and see what we get inside i'm gonna put that over here for now and as you open it up you get this uh very you know iphone-esque um accessories over here plastic container over here with uh, all the stuff in it 
Now, in here, you get the pocket box itself and one coil. That's it, okay? This is going to be a 0 0.35 ohm direct-to-lung coil rated at 20 to 40 watts. And, yeah, I'll get more into the coils a little bit later, but, yeah, that's it comes with just one coil. All right, so let's take a look over here on the accessory side and see what we get in here. All right, you get your USB charging cable. This is not firmware upgradable. Um, I, I don't think there's much firmware in here other than a minimal chip that allows for, um, you know, things like, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, protecting the battery, and that's about it. Okay, more about that in a few minutes. All right, now in here we also get, uh, come on out here, you get a package of O-rings. All right. Now there's one O-ring, uh, one silicon piece that's not in here, and I don't understand why they didn't put it in here, but it isn't. I'll show you more about that in a minute or two when I start opening this thing up. Uh, in here you have your usual stuff, um, stickers, warranty card, um, battery care guide. Okay, and of course, the warranty and safety booklet, which comes in a whole mess of different languages, but is basically just your warranty in here and a couple of minor safety precautions. This is really not any kind of an instruction manual or anything like that. Um, it's basically just a warranty. So we're going to put all this stuff back in here. Now, the really only user's manual that comes with this is this little tent, okay? Um, this is the way it looks like when it comes out of the box. And this is what it looks like when it's set up, okay? Uh, you just take it and push this in here like so. Now, this does have printing on both sides. All right, let's take a look at side one first. This shows you the three different types the white, the navy blue, and the black. Uh, on here, it has drip tip, uh, top cap airflow, top coil, uh, push to fire button, and it's usual Inakin three clicks. Uh, 1200 milliamp hour capacity battery. Now, I'm gonna show you more about this in a few minutes, okay? I'm, I'm gonna put in a, a little uh, film clip in here that I did when I was, uh, I had this torn down um, actually it was the black one I believe that I had torn down um, it is a 1200 milliamp hour battery it but it is a 2350 battery and this battery has a 4.44 watt hour rating on it which is when you sit down and you do the math comes out to 1200 milliamp hours. So according to the bat, what the battery says on it, it is a 1200 milliamp hour battery. Now the resistance ranges that this thing will take, it says here on here is 0.2 to 3.5 ohms, minimum to maximum. 3.3 volts, which is what the battery has, to 4.2 volts, which is the maximum that the battery can have when it's, when it's fully charged. So there's really no regulation in here. Uh, whatever elect the electronic circuitry that is in here is basically just for, um, just in case you should turn around and should get a short or something like that in your USB charging port, or if you should turn around and try and plug this thing in backwards, um, which would wind up resulting in a catastrophic failure of the battery. So it's basically battery protection. Uh, is the only electronic circuitry. That plus also the LED light show, which I'll show you in a minute. And it says that it's rated at 40 watts maximum. Now, this here, uh, let me get all this stuff out of the way here, make things a little bit easier to see and for me to play around with. Now, in here it shows you on the back side, uh, don't overfill past the maximum indicator line. Yeah. Big time. Uh, the Actually, 
the maximum indicator line on here is actually a little too high. Um, I have found through, shall we say, uh, trial and a lot of error that when you fill this thing up, if you fill this thing up right to that maximum line, you're going to wind up having an overflow when you put in the, uh, the coil and uh, top cap combination. I suggest that when you fill this up, you fill this up not to the max line, but to the top of where it says max on here, the actual max words, um, which is about maybe a millimeter or so, give or take a little bit, um, below the line, okay? Never fill it directly up to the line, otherwise you will get some juice all over the place, all right? That's point one. Now, according to what it says here, it says, please wait five minutes before vaping. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I'm going to open up one of these coils to turn around and show you what's been going on. Now, the coils that they sent in here are 0.35 coil, ohm coils, and that's what they sent me here with this. Now, I understand that there's also a 1.2 ohm mouth-to-lung coil, which is rated at 10 to 13 watts. Uh, that is also available for this. Now, there's this is what's called slipstream system, okay? Um, I might as well get into this now and talk about it. The slipstream system is designed for a lot of their uh, AIOs, uh, all-in-ones, and there are a couple of different permutations of this. Um, I'm still waiting back for some um, further clarification on this. But this is the one that came with it. It says for pocket mod. Okay. Now I'm not sure if the other slipstream coils are avail that are available out there are can be used in this or not. And that's what I'm waiting for clarification on. Um, if that's the case, then there's a couple of them that are out there. Um, oh gosh, what did I do with my notes here? Uh, I can't find them, but there's like two other ones. There's a, I think it's a, a 0.5 ohm stainless steel coil that's available and another Canthal A1. But uh, yeah, um, you'll have to, uh, I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that. But this is the way the packaging comes. There is writing on the outside of the packaging, uh, which is very hard to see. But it does indicate that it is a 0.35 ohm coil, 20 to 40 watts, and it does say Canthal on there. It's very hard to see. On the coil itself, it says slipstream system with the usual CE marks. And as you can see here, this is laser etched, and it says specifically for pocket mod. Okay? And as you can see, it says 0.35 ohms, KAL, 20 to 40 watts. Now, as you can see, this is a rather small little coil. Uh, it uses everything um, basically in one. Let me just get something here that I can use as a pointer. Um, your vape, once you vape, it comes up through here, and you have a single coil in here that extends down here like so. But your air comes in from the air intake port here in the cap, goes down the outside here and then comes up inside the cap, inside the coil head, and then comes up past the coil and uh, wicking material. This is Japanese co organic cotton that's in here. And as you can see, the, um, the wicking ports are quite large. Um, I have been using basically an 80-20 uh, mix in this thing, uh, juice mix in this thing. Uh, since I started using uh, this little black one over here, and I have never, I repeat, never had an issue with this thing going anywhere even closely resembling a dry head. Now, the reason why on that tent card it says to wait for three to five minutes is because this cotton here needs to get soaked, okay? right in here and also it needs to get directly to the coil that's in here now what i suggest to everybody when you're dealing with a stock coil type system is to make sure before you install this 
that you completely get this cotton here and this cotton over here saturated with juice, okay, e-liquid, all right? But what I also suggest is, especially with this, and that's, I did this with, with the black one's coil, and I've been using this black one now for th almost three weeks, and on the same coil, um, is to take and put juice down in here. Um, basically, I just turned around and took a eyedropper full of juice and put in about six or ten drops of juice in there and kind of swirled it around. Now, granted, the first uh, hit off of this thing, it was rather gurgly, but I would rather have a gurgly coil on the first one or two or maybe even three tokes than winding up smoking a coil. Uh, these things cost roughly about $7.50 each if you're buying them from some of the sites. I've seen them down to about um, $15 for a pack of five, which would make that about, mm, about, three, about three bucks a piece, okay? So yeah, these things can be expensive and you don't wanna smoke them. But like I said, I have been using this black one now daily, daily for like, a good piece of my day um, and for the last three weeks and I have had absolutely no issues zero not a zilch zip issues with this thing ever changing flavor or anything like that um, I, I have to commend Inakin that this this coil system is really works good uh, the coils are expensive but hey you know what are you gonna do Okay, so as you can see here on the box, you have Inakin on this side with uh, some battery venting here. Yes, this is your battery directly behind these holes. Positive is up here, negative is down here. As you can see, it says pocket box on here. This is actually plastic, okay? This is actually plastic with this carbon fiber sticker on here. Uh, this carbon fiber sticker is very nice. It gives you plenty of grip was when you're using this. I'll, more about that in a minute. Over here you have your uh, battery indicator light, which tells you whether when your battery is getting low. Uh, fully charged, it's a full green. It starts to change over to a yellow when it's about, oh, I'd say anywhere between 60 and 70% charge. Uh, when you get down to about 25 to 30% charge, uh, it starts turning red. When the battery is fully discharged, which they, which they say it suggests you never ever do, and I'll get and because this doesn't have basically any regulation in here, um, once this thing starts to go red, immediately put it on charge. If this thing starts flashing red at you, uh, definitely stop what you're doing and put this thing on a charge. Now, this thing charges up very quickly from a full flashing red uh, condition. Um, I put this on charge and it usually takes about maybe um, two or three hours for it to charge up. So it's, it's, it actually charges up very quickly. Considering that, like I said, it has a 2350, ba 2350 battery in here. And it's only 1,200 milliamp hours. It doesn't take long at all. Um, over here, you have your glass viewport for your uh, juice tank. And that's pretty much it. Oh, duh. Fire button here at the top. And as you see, it's the usual Inakin, as I said before, three clicks on, three clicks off. And as you can see here, you see a nice bright LED. When you hit it three clicks to turn it on, you get the red, yellow, and green. You get two flashes of each. And when you press that, if you have no uh, no coil in here, you get that blue, that green flashing light. All right. And if it had the coil in there, it would be um, it would be a solid green. All right. So you fill this up by removing this top cap here. Now I have to say that the stainless steel that they're using in here, uh, like I said, this is a plastic. All this pearlescent white here is solid plastic. Um, 
is excellent. The, the milling, the machining on this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, I want to call your attention to this. You see this flat side here and this flat side here? That's designed to uh, relieve pressure in the tank when you put in the, in the coil head combination. Um, because there's going to be displacement and therefore the max fill line, um, what happens is when you go to push this in, the air that's trapped in here above the max fill line has to get pushed out someplace. Otherwise, it's just going to force juice into these uh, into the cotton, and you're going to wind up with a gurgly mess. Uh, that's what these flats are for. As you screw it in slowly, it gives the air a chance to escape out and thus prevent overpressurization of the tank. Now, you take your coil head, and you screw this in here. You see this threading here on the central chimney. You thread it in like so. You have to press it in a little bit because there is an O-ring in here. I don't know if you can see it too well. Right here. And as you press that in, you're making the uh, thread connection. And then you just screw this in like so until it stops as far as it'll go in. And that's it. You're coil head is now fully assembled. Now, taking a look inside here, um, as you can see, you have this big brass, gold-plated brass platen in here. That is the positive, that's the positive side of the battery that makes connection here with this bottom piece. And the rest of the outside of the coil here and this top part here, and all these threads that are in here, um, that's your negative side. Now, you remember a minute or two ago, I turned around and I said there was one O-ring that was not included. Well, that is down here at the bottom of the tank. That's this little silicon piece here. Um, still not sure what it's there for. Probably to ensure that there's no electrical contact between the outside, which is the negative side, and that platen, which is the uh, positive connection. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> no spare. I would really like to see an extra spare, at least one extra spare, in here with this O-ring package. Um, it would be a really nice thing to have, because if this thing gets lost, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to make use of this thing safely. Um, just saying, okay? All right, now let's put that back in here like so. And make sure it is pushed down into place. And it just sits here on the bottom. There's no special um, no special oomph that you got to put on there to make sure that it's connected. Now, you'll also notice here that because this is a plastic... The entire inside of this, this is a glass tube, by the way, which is in here. Um, it has silicon O-rings here at the top and down here at the bottom where it connects to the plastic. Um, this is all white in here. Now, on the black one that I have here, it is particularly hard in any kind of a normal light situation to see where that um, see where your juice is actually at when you're filling this thing up okay um, I have seen a couple of other reviewers that have put out stuff and it's much easier to see it with the white one of the things I would see I would sincerely like to see happening is that if it's possible, instead of this entire piece here being one monolithic piece of uh, milled or injection molded plastic, to have the inside part of all of these tanks where the, the, the glass actually sits in be white, even on the black one. It, makes, it would make it a whole heck of a lot easier to see what's going on inside. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Let me just... Um, Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to get a couple of sheets of note paper here because this does have juice in it. You know, when I take this out, I don't want to get the build mat all messed up with juice. 
and it just makes it so much harder to turn around and keep things clean so yeah okay as you can see wicking very easy so as you can see here also where is it yeah there we go pointer i have juice in here right now i'm not going to juice this up because as i said this is going to be the one that's going to be going up for uh giveaway grabs here so i'm going to be doing everything that has anything to juice uh, do with juice here on the black one so juice this is a 7624 this is actually a combination of two juices that i'd like to make um, found out that by putting combining the two juices together I came up with a third juice that was absolutely fantastic but that's for another time um, what you have to do is is you have to when you fill this up you fill this up like I said this takes two mils maximum and you do not want to fill this up past the top of the word that says max on there keep it away from that line because if you have it and there we go if you put it up to where the line is actually um you're definitely going to get overflow so let me move that out of the way here put this back over here because that's got to go with the white one now when you're first uh, putting juice in here um Take your dropper bottle, put juice on in here, and just keep dripping juice in here until the cotton basically looks like that, okay? Uh, it changes to a dark color instead of the whitish, or at least the translucence. And as I said before, before you put this on like so, uh, put like anywhere between 6 and 10 drops down the, down the center throat of this coil. You really want to get that cotton uh, thoroughly saturated. Um, if you don't and you smoke this coil, well, that's on you. Now, as you can see here on the top, you have adjustable airflow. There's two airflow intakes, one here on this side and one on this side here. The, 510, the drip tip is removable and it is a standard 510 drip tip. As I can show you here on this one, this is a standard one that I use for a lot of other stuff. Um, so, yeah, you can turn around and replace this drip tip with whatever drip tip you want to put in here, uh, as long as it's a 510 and not a goon. Okay, um, open this up and pop that in like so. Now, I am going to include this extra coil in here, just like so, with this. Uh, actually, let me make sure that this is, ah, it was turned on. One, two, three, turned off. Actually, I'm going to take this out because I don't want to see this thing get smoked. Because if this thing accidentally turns on and that coil is in there, it will smoke that coil almost instantaneously. You have to make sure that there's juice in here whenever there's a coil attached to this. Otherwise, hmm, big issues. So let me put that extra coil over there. So you will be get whoever gets this will be getting an extra coil in here. So as you as I showed you, you take this and you pop this on like so, and you slowly put that in. Uh, I can't turn this that way you can see the camera, but as you push this in, the displacement of the coil and the top cap pushes that juice up and the air put it in back it off till you hear the click and screw this in now the air as you screw this in the air the juice comes up the air forces out through those little flats like so and tighten into place now you see that as soon even though i put it just Underneath the max line, you see there, I still got some juice that uh, came off of that. Let me just get a Q-tip here. I hate messy things. And just take the Q-tip and just run it around here. Very little juice. If I had filled that directly up to the max fill line, there would be juice 
all over the place here. So yeah, uh, Inica needs to um, needs to check out where that max fill line is. Now I think when they put that max fill line in there, they probably put that in uh, spec that out in the designs for this thing without that little silicon rubber gasket in there. Um, that may have turned around and been the cause, maybe the cause for this, but I still wouldn't play with this thing without that in there. And just make sure that this is fully seated. And as you can see here, your air hole, unlike on the picture where they obviously didn't, um, they obviously didn't screw this down tight so you could see where the air hole is, uh, the photographers did. Um, the uh, air holes here, both on the black and on the white, come right in line here. So when you're looking at this, yeah, it's there. Three clicks on. Oh, it's already on. One, two, three. That's on. One, two, three. That's off. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go back up to FaceTime, up on top side, and uh, talk about this some more. And, uh, yeah, meet you topside. Hey, everybody. Glad to see you made it topside. Okay. Um, first things first. Um, I'm going to turn around and show you now uh, some photos, okay, that I took of the internals of this mod. Well, actually, the white one. And I'm also going to turn – well, let me just show you the, inter the, the, the the photos here so you can see what the inside of this thing looks like, okay? Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a short piece of film here. It's going to take about a minute and five seconds that will show you how this thing is put together. Uh, it's actually me doing the uh, put back together, for lack of a better phrase, of the mod after I took it apart to take those last photos. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in here right now. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks on this thing. Um, do I like it? Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, do I think it's a handy little item to have? Yes, I do. Is it inexpensive? It's it's very inexpensive. Um, it's not that it's not that much when you consider you're getting an all-in-one here. You're getting the tank and the uh, mod and battery and everything else all in one, okay? So for the price of it, it's very inexpensive. Is it convenient? Yes, it is. Flavor. The flavor when this thing is fully opened, okay, is a little on the muted side, all right? Let me, let me show you what this thing looks like with the clouds, okay? Hold on.
Nothing matter with these clouds. The flavor, it's there, but it's a little on the muted side. Now, if I cut this thing down to half the airflow, the taste gets better. The clouds are a little bit less. Okay. As you heard, this thing ain't exactly quiet. Okay. Uh, especially when you've got this thing down to half the airflow. Okay. It gets, picks up a little bit of a whistle every now and then. Um, full open. It's a little noisy, not bad. Okay. Um, the flavor, the flavor, that's, that's my little bugaboo here. While I'm not saying it has no flavor and it's just clouds broke clouds, um, cause it does have flavor. It's a little bit on the muted side. I don't know how to remedy that. Now I've been using my, um, uh, forest berries with vanilla bean gelato and cheesecake. This is a 76, 24, uh, ratio three mil. It's very flavorful. Um, I put it on a couple of other tanks. It's it's almost like a wow. Okay. Um, the flavor on this with it wide open, mm, it's there, but it's not, if you know what I mean. Um, closing down the airflow, the flavor gets a little bit better, but it's still not where I would like to see it. Um my big bugaboo with this thing is the filling. Um, unless you've got a bright light shining directly down into the tank, uh, it's really hard to fill. Now, I didn't fill up the white one, so I can't speak as to how well, how easy it is to see things on the white one. This one I can speak to. On this black one, there's a couple of issues, a couple of things that can be done to fix this. One, the glass that's in there that has the fill line, the max fill line, that can be written in white letters. Make it a little easier to see, okay? Because you can't see the line unless you got the light shining down there and coming out through it to show you the, the, the colors uh, and the lettering. Um, that's an easy fix for this. Another fix that's not going to be quite so easy would be to leave the lettering black, but to turn around and have an insert, a white insert on the inside of the tank area, just outside the glass to get a little more light in there so you can see what's going on. I think the white lettering would probably be a better idea even though you might still have to have some light shining in through the top to be able to see what the, the level of the, the light, uh, the juice is. Now, because this is using a 20350 battery in here, you can't go putting an LED in here like they did with the RDTA box and a couple of other ones, and the RDTA box mini as well. Um, because otherwise you'll turn around, you'll kill the battery in here because the only electronics that is in here is battery protection and charging circuitry. Okay. So if you have this thing where every time you click this thing, uh, that light turns on in there, uh, your battery is going to go to hell in a handbasket real quick. Battery life while I'm on the subject, battery life is pretty damn good on this thing. Um, I have had this thing in my pocket now for the last, well, I've had it for the last three weeks. Uh, I have had it actively in my pocket going to work with me along with my regular going to work mod, uh, for the last two. Uh, there have been a couple of times when, uh, my going to work mod and another mod that I'm going to be doing a review on that I've been playing with, um, during, you know, during my workout during my work day, um, I had to put that onto a charger 
my primary work mod primarily because I was a dumb, stupid jackass and didn't charge it up. So I had to go and put it down and charge it up. So luckily I had this thing in my pocket. This thing is a great little stealth bait. Now, if you're one, if you're somebody who's the kind who doesn't follow the rules and needs to have a vape every so often in those air places that you really shouldn't be and not supposed to be vaping in. If you put in a high PG juice in here um, and keep it down, in other words, you don't go trying to suck it in through the back, out through the back of your head, you might be able to get away with it and not have anybody even know that you're doing it. Okay, just saying. I'm not condoning it. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just saying, okay? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it on this thing. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. Uh, the flavor issue, that's something that you're going to have to turn around and take up with for yourself. You're going to have to figure that one out for yourself. Um, that's the major bugaboo I have with this, but all the other stuff that goes with it, um, that doesn't really add up in this child's, uh, copy book to a point where I'd have to give this thing a thumbs down. Um, actually I can't give it a thumbs down because it just works. It works very well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically I'm going to give this thing a very small thumbs down for the flavor, uh, but I'm going to give it a thumbs up for just about everything else, okay? Um, yeah, that's about it, okay? Um, trying to keep these things short. I'm, I, I really don't want to have these things going too long. I, I'm trying to help be, you know, cut things down a little bit, but yeah, this thing definitely get it. If you're really interested and you really want to have something small that you can carry in your pants pocket all day long with you or even in your purse, okay? And you don't want to turn around, you don't want to be carrying around a big mod, it's right here, okay? Now, before I leave, I'm going to put up the rules, as I said earlier, okay? These are the rules for the giveaway. Go and follow the rules. The link for the form that you have to fill out is down below. Fill that out. Use the code that you found earlier in this video. All right. If you haven't watched this video all the way through and you just skipped here to the giveaway portion, oops, you need that code. So go back and watch. Okay. Um, yeah. Fill out the form. Put in the code. This thing is going to be closing on the 21st of February at 12.59 Eastern Standard Time. Um, I will be drawing for this thing sometime during the day on the 22nd. It's going to be a pop-up live show. I'm going to do the drawing, and uh, then we'll take it from there. Okay? So, having said all of that, I want to thank you all for coming and joining me here today. Um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, or at least if I'm going to try and put this thing up today, Valentine's Day. Um, if I get up, I just hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Take care. God bless. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. And may the Lord hold you in the hollow of his hand. And may you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Take care, folks. Bye for now.